Right, I've got a new one. This is the classic Would You Rather. Warhammer Painting Edition, of course. So I've come up with a few Would You Rather questions that you can ponder and we can discuss. I've got a few here for you. Right, are you ready? As ever, always. Number one, this is for the both of you. Would you rather only be able to use a size triple zero brush for one year or only be able to use a size 10 brush for one year? I, I'm, I'm going to use the triple zero and I'm just going to dedicate myself to only painting epic scale models. <laughs> and then within a year, I'm going to be the best epic scale painter you've ever seen in your life. I can't believe you've cracked... You've like cracked the case for this. Yeah. That's a massive loophole that I was not anticipating. Yeah. And then I'll be like, yeah, I'll be winning it's GDs really and everything. Oh. Epic scale. Yeah. Well. So I'm going to answer this understanding that it's the only thing you can paint with. And that's the way that I'm looking at. Mm. So I'm going to He's going to do the opposite. He's going to start gonna, Titan Army. <laughs> I, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with a size 10 um because it should have a really good tip on it which means you can still do detailed stuff but i am not sitting there blocking in models with a triple zero i'm sorry it just is not happening like um uh, and i don't want to paint a titan army so yeah size size 10 all day long all day long what are you going to paint with that everything all of it all of it i'll paint up you know I'll paint. every Every model. Yeah, every all model. everything. All of the models. I'll paint all the models. I mean, that's a challenge waiting to happen, isn't it? I still think you could paint Epic with a size 10. We should do a video, right? I'll do a model with a triple zero only, and you do a model with a size that, 10. That should only. be a face-off. We should have like an equivalent. Uh, we should get an Epic Rhino and a normal size Rhino. Yeah, what I'll if do, he's got the I'll triple do, zero? Wait, while, you're, while you're spending three hours blocking it in with the, with the uh, triple zero. No, no, zero. I'll do an Epic Rhino with my triple zero. Oh, you that, do a normal Rhino with your size 10. That'd be the twist. We could do it the other way around. You've got to paint an Epic Rhino <laughs> with a size 10. <laughs> yeah, no, I reckon, I reckon that'd be fun. Um, no, I'd go size 10 all day long. Okay, right. Next up, this is uh, going along with the theme of things you've got to live without. Oh, God. Would you rather no wet palette or no painting lamp? Um, so the little light on my magnifiers, <laughs> <laughs> does that, oh, that the magnifiers as... will come in handy with a size triple zero epic thing. That's true. Well. No, it's true. Um, true. Does that count as a painting lamp? <laughs> no, no. There we go. I'll have my wet palette and I'll have my, my light on my No, you know, no, no, like just room. Well, I guess, I guess you could oh, so adapt. it does count as a painting lamp. All right. No, no, I'll no. get rid of the, I'll get rid of the, uh, wet palette then. I need a lamp. I need a lamp. We're opposite ends of the spectrum again. Wet palette. I, I've got uh, daylight bulbs in my room, so... Uh, James is going to be painting outside in the sun. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I, I've got spotlights in my painting room, so and they're, they're white as anything, so I, I will take the I will take the, the, the wet palette. There is there is zero chance that downlighting from the ceiling is going to be as good. It's going to be... It's not going to be as good, but... It's I, not going to be... It's not only not going to be as good. Maybe a dry good. palette as good as a wet palette. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, going, I'm going wet palette all day long. I feel like that's going to be atrocious though, because the, the shadows have got to be probably quite extreme, right? No, I think do you know what? I think your eyes get used to used to how much paint you put in a certain area and how you have, uh, do stuff. I think obviously the lighting does obviously help you to see in depth what you're doing. But I, I I think muscle memory and also like the memory of how you paint stuff doesn't really you don't lose your approach to painting because of the light. So I I would to be <laughs> fair, if you look at the paints that I'm using, I kind of need a bit of dark to see them. If you're using this, yeah. I think you'll be all right. Yeah. I love that he said that philosophically as if he's going to paint like a blind man. Like yeah, you, yeah. you don't even need the light. You can just feel the colour. Yeah. He's got the false. He's like uh, Donnie Yen. Is very dark. <laughs> yeah, no, I, no. Wet palette. I, that is coming I'm with, with the paint. The painters with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Amen. Yeah, no, I, I would go wet palette all day long. Yeah. Right. This is going to be, uh, this, this is targeted at you too, specifically. This might not translate as well for the listeners. But okay. Would you rather never paint another Space Marine again? Yep. Or paint an entire Stormcast army in non-metallic metal. I uh, I think I'd be quite happy to never paint the Space Marine again. I do like them, but there's so much other stuff. I can see the wheels turning. James, yeah, <laughs> James is much more diehard Space Marine fanboy than yeah, me. Yeah, I'm like. gonna have to. I'm gonna have to say uh, I go for the go for the Stormcast. I, I I love Marines. So yeah. Do you dislike Stormcast? No, they're just they're just fantasy marines i that. actually i actually don't mind stormcast but i i couldn't i couldn't do a full army of nmm stormcast so, so i don't think i could do a full nmm no, army of I, any I, I don't think i could do 
But if you told me I had to just do NMM on the blades of the Stormcast Army, I think I'd still, no, I'd still I, say no, I, let alone the full. Or I would, but then the color scheme that I come up with for the Stormcast would hardly have any metal on it. I, There's my workaround. I'm dedicated to uh, working around your your little games that you have here. I'm gonna I'm gonna find a a, a way out. There's of a pothole the... in all of these questions. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going I'm going Stormcast. Like irrelevant if it's full NMM or like number one. It's something that for me is something that I've I've not properly approached or had that had the sort of confidence to fully do. So it gives me to live by the, what I preach, which is push myself outside my comfort zone, I would dive headfirst into doing it. Even though yeah. if they don't look very good, it means I can still paint Marines. I'm just saying bye to Space Marines. No, I can't do that. I can't do that. I, I, I can't. Would you rather paint a Warlord Titan, full-size one, full-size one, but Joe, every single piece, every single piece is in a sub-assembly? God's sake. Or... Paint an Imperial Knight army, but with no spray cans and no airbrush. <laughs> um, so the the Titan, every single individual piece. Not it's not actual sub assemblies. It's every piece. You got to paint each piece one by one before gluing anything together. I I mean I'd rather. I don't know, pay one of you to do it. <laughs> uh, I suppose if I had to pick one, I would succumb to the sub-assembly because at least I have a Titan at the end of that one. I would hate, just to clarify, I would hate either one of those. But uh, yeah, I suppose I, I'll pick I'll pick the Titan sub-assembly thing. I will say, a Knight Army, and... Knight Army, it's not that many models. Yeah, but, but the entire thing, by, uh, so I've got to prime it by brush as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. see it's not going to happen, is it? I'm going to end up with a <laughs> with a rubbish knight army, or I'll end up with a decent titan. But if you so, use, if you use your size ten brush with a bit of that primer, <laughs> <laughs> no, remember I'm still using a triple zero at this point. Yeah, I'm I'm taking the titan. He's been brewing. Look I'm at him. Put put the work in. I put a lot of thought into this. But I'm going knight army all day long, all day long. So you're priming with a brush, sponge, mate. Priming sponge. You said priming though, with a sponge. Mm -hmm. Get your paint on the palette. Sponge. Sponge, 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 sponge. You could just dry brush the army. And then well. you dry brush it all yeah. day long. No, he's got a good one there. All day long. And then you can still paint all the details normally. I didn't realize there were so many plot holes in all these questions. Yeah. <laughs> I love that in the spirit of the question, you're not like, hmm, which one would I rather do it? So how can while, I wiggle out of while, this situation? Yeah. <laughs> while while Joe, Joe was like struggling to stop spontaneously combusting at the thought of sub-assemblies, I was, I was like, I'm going to sponge the crap out of it. Don't worry, Joe, though. You could, you could use your magnifiers still. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm going night army. Right, in a less uh, negative thing, you've got to live without. This is on the upswing now. Which would you rather get? An unlimited supply of retro paints, or an unlimited whatever the next one is, <laughs> or an unlimited supply of retro models? Oh, oh yeah, definitely that one. Retro models, hundred percent for me. Retro models. Can I? Can I, I just ask? want to say he has an unlimited supply of retro <laughs> yes. Can I? Can I? Can I ask a, a question? It doesn't mean we're going to take that away. No, no, no. Can I ask a question though? However, are the models sealed or unsealed? They're sealed, brand new. Oh, the new models all day. You can't sell them though. No, it's fine. Yeah, it's models, isn't it? Models. I've got the paint. I want the models. It's only because he's got the paint. Though. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's assume you had no paint. Oh, right? okay. If you had to trade in your paint, yeah, all of your paints have, have, have burned in a fire. You've got paint. no. Paint. I was going the paints. Yeah, I'm going paint. Fair. Yeah. Well, there we go. So you can paint my models for me. I wouldn't. No. Open, I wouldn't. I wouldn't let you open. We boxes. joined up on that one. You could. You could team up. Actually, if one oh. of you, if you, if you went in this together, yeah, yeah. One of you said, right, you take the paint, I'll take the model. I would, we'll just do I would, some swaps. I, would, I, you wouldn't, I wouldn't let him open the sealed boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Would you rather be given the strength of an Astartes or be given the skill of Darren Latham? <laughs> <laughs> Which superpower would you like? I feel like. Uh, for me, the strength of the starters is more attainable, naturally. Than, <laughs> than the, uh, the, to me, the Darren Latham skill level seems so out of reach that I would have to cheat and take that one, I think. I'm going to ask a question. When you say strength of the starters, does that mean you get the longevity of the starters? 
No, it says the strength. It's in the question. Just the strength. So you don't get a life expectancy then. You're still no. walking around as James Otero, the human being. You're just going to be James Otero, the human being, who is still five foot eight, but you also happen to be able to deadlift yeah. like a you building. You can just do like jam jars a lot easier and stuff. Or harder. You might actually crack the jam jar. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to go with skill. Because taking, I was hoping taking you, skill. I, I was hoping you were going to say you get the life expectancy because I'll take that and then I'll just spend every single second of that extended I still don't think you reach it. I don't think yeah, you have a yeah, yeah, your life yeah, expectancy. You but, can give me a little bit of time. You, I'm not you, getting you, that. You can try at least. I don't yeah, think this yeah. is a time issue. No. <laughs> yeah. no I, yeah, I'd probably I'm say, not sitting there going, if only I have more time. <laughs> if only I had more time of the day, I could be just like that. So, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, I'll take the skill. If you've got like a thousand years, it's a long time to practice. No chance, mate. It's not happening. It's not happening. Not for me. Yeah. It's got... Maybe for you, not for me. It's got, yeah, if you don't get the life expense, you know, I'm just going to say get the skill straight away. Yeah. That really proves what nerds we are, that we would all like, nah, don't you do that strength, don't you be buff. Yeah, skill. Definitely. Completely thrown out the window, like all the practical life advantages of being like the strongest person yeah. on the planet. Like, don't worry, don't need that. Yeah. All right, brilliant. You could argue better strength does inherently give you better life expectancy but that's a different conversation no that's why I asked the question because I was like if, yeah. if you get the life expectancy not the life expectancy of the start is but it would give you better yeah, life no, expectancy no I'd go for skill right. you might get a few more years to, to paint yeah skill skill <laughs>